Welcome to Diving Deep with Deepak and Dara, where we make the deep relatable and translatable into your life. I want to talk about a taboo topic for many, which I personally don't believe should be taboo because it's such a part of the life and human experience, which is sex. And I honestly don't have a question for you. My question is simply, let's talk about sex. And can you share some feedback on the way it's been acculturated and what role it plays in our lives? Well, um, sexual energy is the same thing as spiritual energy. It's the creative energy that is present in all living beings. We wouldn't be alive, we wouldn't be here were it not for sexual energy. So um, anytime people repress that energy, you have pathology. You're seeing all the scandals in the Catholic Church, but it happens almost anywhere where uh, there is repression and guilt and shame about uh, sexual experience. So in my mind, sexual energy and spiritual energy are the same thing. They're the creative energies of the universe present in all living organisms. Now, human beings are a very interesting species. They've created stories around, you know, sexual experience, uh, which is great because sexual experience can be part of a romantic relationship. I don't necessarily uh, believe um, that uh, humans are naturally monogamous, but it's good uh, monogamy as a, as a social construct if you have a family and if you are raising children, you know, and there's responsibility. So it's a very difficult thing to um, um, sermonize about. Uh, people should have their own values regarding that. Having said that, when people are in relationship, then if uh, sexual experience is not value-based, and then it ultimately um, it falters. You know, if it's sex only for the uh, reason of pleasure, which is fine too, but um, it won't be a lasting, uh, fulfilling experience. Pleasure has a way of exhausting itself. Any pleasure has a way of exhausting itself. And then if you have an addictive personality, then you you can't get enough of what you don't want anymore. So, uh, you know, there's always the danger if your sexual activity is totally driven by pleasure that you might end up being an addict. And addiction is not good for anyone. It doesn't matter if it's addiction to sex or any other sensation or to food or to control or to always being perfect or to melodrama or to security. All these addictions, um, you know, they ultimately result in disease. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you want to hear more, enjoy a free masterclass with Deepak and myself on living a more meaningful life, along with a guided meditation at dara.co slash Deepak. You can also subscribe to our channels, comment below, let us know what you loved, what you'd love to hear more of, or follow us on Instagram and Twitter, where we'll share daily knowledge droppings at Deepak Chopra and at Dara B. See you next time.